There is a new DNA genealogy program coming to PBS airing this November and I wanted to tell you about it. Hey, if this is your first time here, my name is Connie Knox. We are super proud of our good friend, Diane Southerd, who was chosen to host this program. It is called Your DNA Secrets Revealed. Now, I was able to interview Diane the other day and I was able to get the scoop. So here's what Diane had to say. Diane, I am super excited to have you back. This is, uh, well, some really exciting news for you. And I'm just going to let you tell everybody about it, because for those who may not have heard, what is going on, girl? <laughs> well, it is actually very, very exciting. Um, so I I get contacted, you know, periodically from different uh -huh. kinds of people wanting to tell different kinds of DNA stories and wanting my input. I've helped with um, a couple books and I've helped with a couple TV shows. And so it's sometimes it's just they want to make sure they've got their facts straight. Sometimes they actually, you know, want more from me. Um, so it happens occasionally. Um, but this, <laughs> this, uh, this particular request, it just came through my website, through our regular contact form. And they said, Hey, you know, we're making this show. And I, I get a little nervous when people say they're making a DNA reveal kind of show. Um, because I don't, I don't particularly like to shock or surprise people, um, with, sensitive information. It's just not my style. And so I kind of just tend to say no thanks to that, you know, find somebody else that's just more suited to that kind of genre. And, um, but this was different. This was like, they wanted to tell the story of people who basically already found something in their DNA at some point in the past. And now we were catching up with them and learning how it had impacted their lives and impacted their relationships. And I just thought that was really interesting. Um, most of the shows you see are at the moment. I just found out something, you know, which is fun and interesting and entertaining to watch, but it doesn't tell the whole story. Right. Because how, right. how did that impact you 10 years from now or whatever? Like, obviously we don't have that kind of timeline, but these are stories of people who, you know, they've taken this information, they've let it settle in and they've taken action in a lot of ways. And we, we see how it impacts what they've done. And I really love that about it. So initially they were just wanting to know if I wanted to be interviewed as an expert. I was like, sure, love to be a part of that program. So, and? They, <laughs> so then they sent a TV crew out, right? And they videoed me in my house. And I was like, that was really fun. And then like, I don't know, it was probably a month or so later, I was actually on vacation with my family. We had just like river rafting in Moab, Utah. It was beautiful. We were tired. We were hot. We were waiting for our hamburgers. And I'm like scrolling through my email. And then there's this email like, Hey, we're just wondering if you'd be interested in hosting this PBS program. And I was like, um, my, mm, yeah, um, yes. <laughs> right. Yeah. Of course. Of course. Of course. So, so. the name of the show is your DNA secrets revealed. Okay. And it, uh, I have gotten a sneak peek. We're going to show a clip here in a minute, but I have gotten a sneak peek at that clip and boy, uh, it, this looks like exciting stuff. Now you're hosting the show. Did you have any involvement with the, the stories that are happening in these episodes? A little bit, a little bit. So I did uh, send them some names of some of my um, graduates, people who graduated mm -hmm. from my DNA skills workshop, who I know have had some success in using DNA to find an ancestor. And mm -hmm. they did actually interview. And one of my clients is in the show. She looks beautiful. I'm so proud of her. And so it's fun to hear her story, you know, professionally told in a way. Um, so that's Pam Cornwell. So you can watch for her in the show. And so, so I got to help a little bit with that. Uh, once they got, you know, they, it was really fun to learn the process. Of course, you know, all this stuff, Connie, cause you're big TV whiz oh, or whatever. Um, <laughs> but it was all new for me um, about how, how this kind of show even comes together. That was fascinating to learn. Yeah. You know, they do all the things and then they make cuts and they, you know, and then they have a script, right. And so then they sent me the script to read through and then they had written, written my part, but I don't know if you know me, I'm a little bit of a control freak. I think I didn't know this about myself, like until a few years ago, but I really, yeah, I think I do like to, I like to do things my way anyway. So I 
you know, made suggestions about things that I might want to say, which they were really open to. And so I got to essentially mold my own script or say what I wanted to say, which was Good. really great. Good. Um, and, and so then once the script was final, then, you know, we, we filmed it. So it was, yeah, it was great. It was fun. So how many episodes have you done? It's just one episode. It's one special, just okay. for DD Secrets Revealed. It's one, it's like 53 minutes is the, is the length of the show. And, okay. and we could do, I hope, I mean, ideally we do lots more, right? Right. Um, but yeah, this is just, just one for now. Mm -hmm. Fabulous. Well, let's yeah. take a look at this clip that uh, we've got going that they sent over. Give us a little sneak peek at what this show is all about. I'm super excited for you. Within each of us is a key to who we are. Each strand of your DNA holds secrets, secrets that can be revealed. I always felt that there was something missing and it wasn't until DNA testing emerged that it provided some answer. It's just incredible to think about the power, the transformative power of understanding our genetic code and what that holds in store for us. The idea to know myself on a genetic level was just way too tempting to pass up. This DNA revolution is creating connections that were once unimaginable. It's revealed everything that I was, everything that I am, and everything that I could be. It's the most personal scavenger hunt that you're ever gonna go on. It gives you scientific evidence of who you are. It just almost feels miraculous. Your DNA Secrets Revealed shares personal explorations like what happened to Hannah Summerhill. I got this email and it says you have new DNA relatives and the first relative at the top is my grandmother and I was floored. I knew my mom was adopted, but we didn't know much about her biological mother because it was a closed adoption. Hannah called up and said, Mom, I love you. And a tone of voice that let me know instantly she wasn't pregnant or getting married. Then she said, I think I found your biological mother. Hannah researched the new DNA connections and found contact information for her aunt, Judith Gass. My dad told me about my mom having a baby and giving her up for adoption. I had given up a daughter at age 19 because I was unmarried. And um, I had looked for her my whole life, on the bus, on the street, whatever, wondering when I saw a woman with a child, if that was my child. Never was. So throughout all of these years, I have been putting our information out there to try to find her. In 2018, I was actually at my stepson's college graduation, and I was checking the Facebook, like you do, and there was this message that came through. It said, hi. You're my aunt and your mom is my grandma. And I was like, what? After texting with Judith, Hannah arranged for her mother to call Rosemary. First thing she said to me was, I was afraid I was going to die before I found you. And then she said, how was your life? <laughs> and I said, oh my gosh, I've had the most amazing life thanks to you. So, that was the beginning. The two families clicked immediately and decided to meet. Lisa and her daughters flew to Southern California to meet their new family. Down the stairs came this woman, Lisa, and she had her arms open. And it really was so incredible for me to see like my mom, a younger version of my mom, standing there. Judy saw me coming and she said, hug mom first. And I just like went up and hugged her and she cried. And I think I was crying too and laughing. It was an amazing 
experience to hold her in my arms, an unbelievable experience of joy unbridled. After 60 years, the universe delivered me back to her so that I could hold her. It was an amazing, amazing gift. Learn more about the future of your health, create greater connections in your life, and take an incredible journey of discovery in your DNA Secrets Revealed. That is so cool. I am so proud of you. Congratulations. You. Hopefully this will lead to more episodes. I'm sure maybe this is maybe from the producer standpoint, a pilot, maybe. I don't know. I hope so. That would be great. Yeah. I think, I think the thing that I most hope comes out of this, I mean, obviously I feel like this will open up doors for me and for your DNA guide, but I think more than that, I really feel like the show does a really good job of explaining why we are so passionate about family history, why it matters. You know, I really, I really believe in the message of the show to anybody who's going to watch it sitting in their living room. They're going to feel like they want to try this, you know, that they want to find their people, that they want to just do a little digging, that they want to get a DNA test, right? I just, I love that. I feel like this show really urges people to take action in their own story. I totally agree. And that's exactly why I do what I do is because for me, it's not so much about, you know, trying to make a buck or whatever. I'm trying to help people find their family history. And that's what to me is the driving force for everything I do here. And I know that is the same. We've talked privately, you know, at the conference and stuff. And I think we all kind of have that same mission, I guess, or the same you know, goal is to really try and help people find their family history. And I think it really gives people a sense of grounding and purpose when they know where they come from. And so kudos to you. And I applaud the producers of this show. It looks fabulous. Where can they see it? And when can they see it? So the best thing to do is to go to your local PBS stations website, Mm -hmm. and they'll have their schedule on there. And it will start showing that weekend after Thanksgiving. I think the earliest date I've seen is November 28th. And so okay. it should it should be playing that very first week of, of November slash uh, last week of November, first week of December. Um, but it should be on the schedule. It, we, we put out a little email teaser and we had a lot of people go and check and everybody came back and said that their station was already planning on you know, showing this, but if you don't see it on your schedule, you can right there from that page, contact your PBS station and ask them to show your DNA secrets revealed. Awesome. And I have to say just before we uh, started recording this, that I also got a hold of my local PBS station here in North Carolina and put a request in. So uh, I highly uh, encourage everyone to also set your DVR uh, so that, you know, look for it. And uh, we'll hopefully get a, a, a good response and yeah. maybe we'll see some more episodes. I'm super excited for you. So thank glad. you. Thank you. I am too. Uh, Thanks for having me on. And I hope uh, everybody watches. That was really exciting to hear about it. Congratulations, Diane. Make sure you are checking your local listings as to where you can find your DNA secrets revealed in your area. All right. We'll catch you on the next episode. There's probably some right there.